the cells themselves have 20 years of proven track record as being safe. So these, you know, they've been tested for over multiple clinical trials at multiple different centers. So the therapeutic itself is extremely safe for um, a clinical application. I think when these are more broadly available, I think it's important that there is a structure there or a technology to make sure that the right cells are chosen for the right patient. And so there's a lot of work now around developing algorithms to really help physicians choose the right product for each patient, because although they're off the shelf products, they're still, they're still tailor made for each individual patient. And so we draw from different banks of cells, looking at different characteristics of the cells and then choosing which, which product will work best in which patient. And so there's, there is some work to be done there on optimizing that whole um, choosing of the cells. But the cellular therapeutic itself is extremely safe and, 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 and has a proven track record. I think probably the next step for us is to move towards a registration trial and really come up, discuss with the FDA in the US, design that trial and really you know, take those final stages to be able to demonstrate that there is an efficacy associated with this therapy and it is, it is prime time and ready to go for a commercialization. In general, it's usually physicians, different from the cancer therapeutics where you know, patients are very driven to, to look online themselves. Usually our referrals come from the transplant physicians themselves. So these are patients who've undergone a transplant. These infections are a consequence of having the transplant. And so we, most of our requests are funneled through the physicians. And from them, the information we need is just the HLA characteristics of the patient and the infection that they have at that moment. And then we go to our bank of cells and choose the appropriate product for every individual patient. Um, so we always highlight the safety profile, but of course we also discuss the risks. I mean, this is cellular therapy being introduced into an allogeneic stem cell transplant recipient. So, you know, there is a, a, a small risk of graft versus host disease being associated with the cellular therapeutic, but again, it hasn't proven to be problematic, but it is incumbent upon us to discuss all of the potential risks. And of course we have eligibility criteria for the patients to be enrolled in our study, so they have to be fit well and not have any levels of um, drugs that would impact our T-cells that we're just about to infuse.